Storm Team 4 now, some warm and muggy weather this afternoon and some possible showers and storms this weekend. Meteorologist Marissa Wallison has a check on our weather. Yeah, that's right. And we actually would be really hopeful to see the rain because that means we're looking at some sort of front to kind of mix things up and bring us some cooler air eventually. Now, I do expect a chance for some showers, but even if we don't see much, we should see a change in our weather, especially coming in on Sunday. Right now, though, it's humid outside 82 in Racine, dew point at 72. So yes, it feels humid outside with the warm temperatures. Walk a shower slightly cooler at 81. Dew points inland are a bit uh, lower than what we're looking at closer to the lakefront, but 66 right now for the dew point. Still, though, humid inland. But here's our next storm. It is off to our west. It is going to track actually into Canada, but there is a cold front that will trail just to the south of it that will eventually move towards us. The question is how much of it is going to hold together. Unfortunately, it does not look like we are going to see a good amount of rain move through, but we'll get some. And then as that cold front moves through behind it, we'll have some cooler air and drier air move in with a change of the winds. Right now that we just have some humid those clouds developing inland close to the lakefront, though we're back to mostly clear skies. Though there is still a little bit of fog there just off the uh, shore there for Ozaki County. As we move throughout the afternoon, though, I expect most of us to be mostly sunny or partly cloudy. We'll see a high of about 85. No chance for rain actually today. Sorry, that will be as we move into tomorrow. But let's break down what we can expect over the next few hours here on your future forecast. Throughout this afternoon, this model bringing a couple of pop-up showers like we've had the last two days. Really don't expect that today. Again, most of us will continue to stay dry this evening will be nice. Temperatures will slowly cool though again by 7 o'clock. We'll still be close to about 80 degrees as we move into the overnight hours. We'll keep it mostly clear. It's still going to be muggy, so you'll likely need to have your air conditioner on in the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, we start to see an increase in clouds and then throughout the morning, we'll start to see some showers develop. This is looking about the lunch hour tomorrow. You can see some showers and the chance for a couple of thunderstorms to pop in. And as we move throughout the afternoon, we'll see that front continue to work its way to the east, bringing still a few showers through about four o'clock. And then as we continue through the evening, those showers will eventually move offshore. And actually the end of the day tomorrow looks pretty nice. So some great weather for the Milwaukee Water Lantern Festival, which I'll show you that forecast in just a bit. But for the Bloody Mary Festival, well, we have a good chance to see some showers out there. So if you're going, be prepared for a shower, maybe even a thunderstorm and muggy conditions with temperatures into the mid 80s. But later in the day again, we'll have some sunshine, then mostly clear skies. Once the sun sets at about eight o'clock, it should feel better too for this festival with humidity also dropping across the area. Your seven day forecast showing those showers and storms on Saturday, but Sunday we'll see a high of 80 and our dew points should be near 60 degrees rather than near 70. So that is our one day that's going to feel great. And then the humidity climbs again as temperatures climb moving into Monday. We'll have a slight chance for showers on Monday, but a better chance on Tuesday. A few more possible on Wednesday, Ben. So still feeling like summer across the area.